I'm Kirk with Midway Auto and RV. Today I'm featuring the 263 BHXL Wildwood. First we'll start with the exterior. One of the things I want to point out here is we have dual propane tanks up here. But also if you look through here, this right here is called an integrated A-frame. So what does that mean? A better structure, no drag points, a lot safer. And the life of this unit is going to be quite a bit more than say if an A-frame is added onto the bottom of the box frame. Walking around here, you'll notice that we have a quick connect for a solar charger to keep those batteries up if you need it. Out here we have outdoor kitchen. Now this is a griddle set up here. Uh, these are fantastic for bacon and eggs and then in the evening you can put a steak on it. Tastes great. Outdoor refrigerator, I like to call it mom and dad's medicine cabinet. Moving around here, you can tell that this is a tandem axle travel trailer. Tandem axle is going to track much better, especially in the wind, versus a single axle that might want to crab walk a little bit. Right up top, you'll notice a awning that is going to be a power awning with LED lighting. It's going to flood this space really well in the evening with lights. This is an entry level travel trailer, but the value is packed in here. One, I touch on the integrated A-frame, but the second door here that leads directly into the bathroom near the bunks. So when the kids come in, or you, in the evenings, you're not tracking mud and dirt through the rest of the travel trailer. Great floor plan. You'll notice here that we optioned this one up pretty well. This rack will come down, you can put your coolers on it, generator on it. This is really gonna come in handy. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about too on this particular model, this is an enclosed heated underbelly. This one happens to have heating pads on the tanks as well. Let's move around to the back side here. We've got an outdoor shower here, hot water, cold water. This really works great for spraying off lawn equipment, the toys, the chairs, things like that before you pack them up, before you go. As we move into the Wildwood here, the biggest thing you're going to notice right away out of the gate is this is a Versa Lounge. So this is what we call a jackknife bed, and then this is a U-shaped dinette. This will turn into a bed on its own. This will turn into a bed on its own. But with this Versa Lounge, we have the option of removing this here. We can make this one very large bed. Now the thing that's real nice in here is the traffic area that I touched on before. This is a peninsula here. The traffic area, the work triangle, is gonna work really well, especially with this slide up here that's gonna open it up. As I move back here, the bunk beds, these are double-sized bunks. Those kids are going to grow. So I want you to think about three, five, 10 years down the road. Um, that will help mitigate you coming in to trade off in two years from now when the kids are taller than you and I. So the double bunks really come in handy here. This is great. We talked about having two entries but this second entry is fantastic because as people are coming in and out of the camper during the day, they have to use the restroom. They don't need to track outside, inside. They can just go in and out through this second door here. Also on here, we've got a pretty nice pantry. Again, very good floor plan, lots of space in here for all the goodies, the marshmallows, the graham crackers, the Hershey's, all of that good stuff. Right here also, Dometic. This refrigerator is still a three-way refrigerator, which I love. This will go shore power, your generator, or battery propane on its own. As you can look through the kitchen here, this is a vented for the cooktop here, conventional microwave oven. And then uh, I like what they did with the decor here a little bit, dressing it up with the cabinetry. This is true hardwood face frames and styles on these doors. This one here again happens to be optioned up with a fireplace in it that can go as far as heat with a fan on it. Or you can just use it kind of like ambiance or nightlight. Really comes in handy, keeps this traffic area um, lit up so nobody's tripping in that at night. As I move up here into the main bedroom, uh, this is a walk around queen bed here. What's nice about this is you can get around all sides of it to make the bed. We also have a couple of closets in here. And what's nice to know is we have closet rods. And then underneath here, we're gonna have quite a bit more storage. If you look down here too, it's separated from what you're gonna put in and out of here from the exterior. This is separated. This is a 2022. We're selling this at a very reasonable price. Actually, we'll sell it to you brand new with a warranty. This is gonna come in new out the door for you, less than used book will be on this here right now. 
Thanks. If you have any questions, get a hold of me, Kirk, at Midway Auto and RV. We'd love to have your business.